guys. I'm going to show you how to use the mega pack that just dropped. It's been live for like 24 hours. Already have a few downloads on it. Super stoked on it, right? Um, you can get this at evansworld.digital slash adobe dash photoshop dash mega dash pack. You can get this at evansworld.digital slash free or escapefinlandia.com slash free. It's just kind of hard to spell for some people. It's also in the EME store. Um, important to note that the Mega Pack includes both my previous packs. So now just go for the Mega Pack and say fuck these two, right? These will eventually get phased out when I uh, add some new assets up there. Um, so once you click on one of these and download it and then unzip it, you will have a file like this and what you'll do want to do I guess is go to the actions and go ahead and click on all of these to load them up in Photoshop and it'll look like this um, if you go control M to bring up the curves um, does that not bring up curves Oh, because I don't have anything selected, my bad. So bring up curves. Um, if you bring to this gig gear wheel, um, go to load. Find your way to the mega pack. Go to curve presets and go ahead and click through all these. Load them up. I already have them loaded, so I won't do that. Do the same with lighting. Use um, gear wheel load. Find your way to the mega pack, the levels, and there's two faders in there. And then they are down there. Um, so we'll go overview real quick. What you get with the with, we'll go over the overlays later. Um, what you get with the actions is quite a bit. It's kind of just fun stuff to mess with. You have quick backdrops, which is essentially just um, duplicating, flipping, and putting a dark or light and filter mode on it. You have trippy alien people, which again is duplicating, flipping. Um, putting lighter dark and filter mode on it and then maybe a little bit of a wave or distortion to make them look crazy and We'll get into what they look like it works best with like front facing people or off to the side a little bit But it's got to be kind of like a portrait shot Five lines which I like and you can do some cool stuff with we'll get into that. It's kind of just uh I think it's find edges inverted and then messed around with and then some distortion effects so it looks like uh, vibrant outlines um, the essential set is just stuff I use and of course you can hot key all this stuff quick cut which is just um, cuts out the subject and applies a mask to it purple tone which I like to use a lot extreme curves sharpen just some basic stuff that I always use crazy mix darker lines um, Five duplicates, which is I, I like to hotkey so I can just make five copies real quick. Um, Control F4 to bring up four adjustment layers, which is nice too. You have, can't fly. You have a step by step, which is kind of just like a three step. Uh, um, you apply the step one to separate the background and the foreground. Then you select the background layer and apply step two. And then you apply, you select the character and then do step three. You have basic liquid melts, with the, which is just flat um, liquid melts that um, stop at the liquefy stage versus down here you have psychedelic liquid melts that is the same as basic liquid melts, but then it applies um, curves to make it look crazy, bring out the colors. Um, which you have extreme curves, which is like my favorite part of this. Um, just give you an idea. We'll look at them later, but these are just one click fucking curve things. I also, I know I have this, the curve presets in there, but I also made uh, actions for them. They're all a little different. Um, you have color boost, which just is like saturation and vibrance. Um, here, color boost two is the same. Vibrance, contrast, and exposure. 
So you have psychedelic liquid melts. I told you about that tones, which is the purple tone again. This is one that isn't included, and I'm working on that. But so let's go through these real quick. Um, let's hide the characters. Let's say we have an image like this. I'm gonna con I'm gonna create five uh, duplicates real quick. Let's go to quick backdrops, and we'll do the four flips darken. Oh, already got kind of a cool looking picture, right? We can hide that and see what lighten would look like. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna mix these. And see if that adds anything to it, which I like that. Um, we'll just mix that down. Um, I'll hide it and I'll show you like maybe just a two flip. So you get the idea, right? We can do two flip, darken, vertical. Now these shouldn't be in here, and I don't know if they'll be in yours or not. Sometimes that just happens for some reason. I don't know why. They are, you can just delete them. They might come back though, because I've deleted this so many times. Um, so we got kind of a cool background. Let's like show you trippy alien people, right? I said it kind of works best with front facing people, portrait shots, right? So we'll create um, some duplicates of this guy so we can just apply these real quick and just show you what they do. First one is kind of a liquify mess with his face, make an eye bigger, and does a little wave distortion effect. Um, now, if you were to do the quick cut, which I have hotkey to control F2, you can just yank him out, and now you got this weird trippy guy over here in the corner. Like, hey, what's up, man? You want to come back to this alleyway with me? So we'll hide him and cut this out. We'll do trippy two on him now. Ooh, so this is like a weird alien race, right? And obviously this isn't the final product. This is just a starting point for you. So you can come in here and start messing with this shit and make it look like really weird and get rid of this white shit or add it to the design, whatever you want to do, right? Let's delete that. It's a cutout. Um, let's go to trippy three. Trippy three. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then again, we can control F2 to a quick cut not all of these have cut out the subject just because you know you never know what you're trying to do and i have that preset in here that you can just use it real quick so we'll hide him too we might use him later so let's do a different person for or wait do we do trippy four trippy four is like a mix of all of them and then like the wave so it just does that kind of just does a little liquify for you, but you might want to do that yourself. Create five copies of her. Trippy one. Control F2. Now you got this weird chicken. See how it didn't cut out perfectly? So you can just real quick draw that in, right? And then she's facing. We'll have her face this way, maybe. Just because the other guy's facing this way. And we'll hide her for now. Let's do trippy two on her. See, and then this is already cut out. And again, you can come in here and mess with some of these details and really make her look like a weird alien person. Do three on her. Kind of the same deal, you cut it out, do four, which is going to be like what we just saw, but with a wave on it. And you know, obviously these are presets, so they're not going to look awesome on every picture, but then some pictures they look really awesome, so it's kind of just fun to mess around with, right? Um, let's do trippy people on one more person. I like that. Um, I've already seen. It. Let's do. We'll show you real quick. I'm gonna use that first one though. So again, kind of a big brute guy. You could do. You can. I could. I'm seeing all sorts of stuff. You can make this dude with antlers, and then kind of. Oh, dude, you can make this dude into a weird looking alien guy. Um, let's do three on him. We won't do four because you know what four looks like. It's just this, but waved. So we got our characters. Let's cut this guy. Control F two. 
honestly, I'm not sure if these presets will come with my hotkeys or not, so we might have to check on that. See what our cast and crew's doing. Of these people here. Yeah, maybe she does need to be this way again. Hmm. Whatever, she's gonna be kind of poking out this way. Um, so, what was that? Those are trippy ones. So, I tried to have all these presets do a duplicate. So you have the original, but not all of them do, unfortunately. So, I think I like to create copies just to make sure Now we're gonna um we can try vibe lines right now. It's gonna do the do some extreme curves, but first well I guess we'll do the vibe lines. Um yeah, so I guess we're gonna need more copies of this. Kind of mess with vibe lines and kind of can and kind of uh not all of them, some of them create two layers, so you gotta watch that. And can just create kind of uh see that four is good for for that kind of thing, kind of just adding some accent some accents to it. Um then this stuff you could even move behind and kind of just make for some interesting interesting things to uh create a little bit of movement and stuff and you got this move this behind too kind of offset that uh, maybe something like that oops let's do vibe lines on this guy let's do let's go down down to extreme curves i mean you don't need me to show you how this stuff works, so let's kind of just see. I made these presets on all sorts of different images, um, lighting. So, you never know which one's going to kind of work. You kind of get a sense. Copy this guy. Let's look what the curves would be. Ooh. So, and then of course you can mess with this stuff. It's just a good starting point so you don't have to fucking draw out the waves every time. I almost want to just do a fader on this guy too. Again, you don't have to use the exact parameters. You can kind of mess with it. What did I do on this guy? Seven? Oops, I didn't, close. I didn't do the right one. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That This guy is Hesh. I use this guy for Hesh. So. So you can kind of use the extremes or the presets. Sometimes one works better than the other. I don't know. Uh, all right, so we mess with that. Um, let's say we don't like this background and we want to do melt it. Create some fucking duplicates of that shit. Oh, why did that do that? Hmm. 
You always run into one problem. Huh. I don't see what's set current layer. I don't know why that one's not working. Okay, so then see, you can get a little cool background over here. Ooh, I like those colors. So much so we're gonna bring them over here. Um, so let's do, dude, that was two, so let's do three. Ooh, these are some cool colors to mix around with. If we do a quick cut on this, and we might pick the colors up. No. All right. Anyway, get rid of that. Do basic melt four. Whatever, we'll leave it at this for now, and then you can come down here and do extreme colors on these to change this. Or again, go to Control M, wave it out. Um, and again, the color boosts. Just real quick that's just saturation and vibrance to a hundred which sometimes might be too much you can do it on the background see what that looks like hmm, not bad um the step by step you know can i show you that Always, dude. All right. So, step by step works like this. Click the image, click step one, play. Come back to, come back to the first layer. Step two, does this. Go to one for character boost. Boom. And it's like, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes you can get some cool effects like that and just mess around. That is the step by step. We're kind of just going through all this other stuff. Um, Willy nilly. Now, the psychedelic melts set selection that, cl that, that selects all, so it'll sh do everything you have so far into working that. So let's do play, and that's what it looks like. Kind of cool colors, though. I don't like the design, but like right up in this area, like. So let's delete that. Let's run Psychedelic Melt 2. That's select all. Ooh, look, see, that's not select all. So you have to, if you're going to do this, you'd have to flatten it. And then you get these kind of uh, cool. Uh, some of these are really cool. I like how uh, you sharpen this. Kind of just messing around here. I knew this was going to happen. That's too sharp. You get the point. You can and then add some fucking shadows and highlights into here. Oh man. Um so we got this Psychedelic Melt 3 is the same way. It's not select all. And see I tried to do everything so it was easy, so it was either all select all and all uh duplicate layers so you'd have originals, but it just didn't work out like that. I created this pack, uh 
over months of work, so let's see here. Just like while doing work, I kind of just save stuff on the side, you know. So we'll do melt three. Then you have something like that, and then you can come down here and play with it in the curves. Or if you want more control, come in here, have a wave starting point. And then come in here and mess up. It's too short, too too noisy though for me. Um tones, obviously just that just gives you a purple overlay tone that I like to use. Um it's pretty much everything. We'll go through some more of the essentials. Essentials is just flow filter, some noise. Um we'll go through two. Two is brighter. <laughs> that dude looks kinda tight. Um crazy mix is set selection to all. So these the crazy mix one, two, and three are like the psychedelic melts. I might as well put them in there honestly, but I created these packs at different times. So there's kind of like six psychedelic melts. So we'll do that right now. I mean this is all select all, so you don't have to have worry about what's selected. It's gonna select everything, but Ooh, what? Maybe not. Why didn't it select the selection? Oh, whoopsies. I don't know. Let's uh, do this again. Maybe you need something selected. So there you have that. That's cool. Let's do crazy mix too. Different tone, different pattern. And then like, you know, you can mix and match these. Just to create like whatever. Um, the red cloud filter just does a new layer of a difference clouds, cartoon painting. This usually you do on a cutout on a, on like something like this. So cartoon painting, kind of just like a posterized effect. And then you could uh, background blast. You're gonna need something that says select layer one. I don't have a layer one, so it won't work, but that was my bad. That's another screw up, but whatever. Old text slant. Oops. We'll just create some old slanted text for you. You can put in here. Um. Sharpen is just probably like smart sharpen by a little bit. This was the original extreme curves. Um, so you can do another purple tone. Let's go ahead and flatten all this. I'm not even gonna do another purple tone. Don't like it. You get an idea for which ones is viable and it's kind of so. Then you can kind of control Z it out and see if there's any other process along the way that you want to keep, you know. I think that's it, right? We went through the whole pack. I think we did. And then, you know, you got the overlay textures, which is my favorite part of the whole pack. And you can kind of mess with. Adding some texture in here, some, you know, some scratches, some dust, overlay. Um, There's some crazy ones like this one that. I wanted, I don't use too much, but I wanted to create just different types. Just, in, just so you can explore the looks. That's pretty scratched up too. You know what I'm saying? This one's another heavy one. Heavy with the ground. Scratches. Just for that like real weathered look. Um, grunge noise. 
a little more grind, less than the last one. Got some scratches on here. Um, the way I mixed all these is mixing, um, is creating different clouds in Photoshop, lowering the opacity on that, and then mixing in layers of free for commercial use images, um, just blending them together, stars, grunge textures, and uh, um, like dust and things like that. Um... this one the blue belt because it's like this one's actually stars and then noise and scratches here's kind of a more basic one that's lighter kind of similar more scratches Here is a cool one that's like cracked paper and stuff. Kind of can add a lot to an image, even just like this, you know. Adds quite a bit. Um, Okay, I think we kind of walked through them again. Now we're just gonna. What I'm gonna do is make something else. Then we might time lapse this part of the video. So I might not do much talking.
right <clears throat> i think that's i think that's boom i think that's it we can even see if we want to add more noise probably not though that's going to be a little too much Uh, what can we do for, for this for final touches? Uh, see what the faders on it look like. Honestly, n not bad. I do love that faded look. I think it would be two on this one. Now that gets rid of some stuff though. And we're going for it. And then we can even just check the purple tone too much. See what this purple tone looks like. That'd be different. Ooh. Too much. Um let me do a final curve check on this. Yeah, my waves are going to be too much for it, but I was just a little tight touch up. Just boost it by 13. Nah. I think that's it. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed the pack. Thank you very much for checking it out. Peace out.